All right, I'm not going to use the microphone. I don't need a microphone. I yell all the time. I've been told that by my wife quite often. Um, I just want to welcome you and thank you guys for coming to the 2023 uh, DARE fifth grade graduation. Um, I'm Deputy Damon Robish. We'll get into that later. Uh, welcome to fourth grade class. This is what you have to look forward to next year, okay? I'm already excited to come up to Hitchcock and teach you guys next year, okay? Uh, I love in coming up to Hitchcock, okay? It's good kids, good people, just enjoy it. It's a lot more enjoyable coming up here than it is going other places. Um, we'll start with the pledge. I think what, Harper's gonna lead us? Yeah, We'll start with the pledge, so if you could stand and move your hats. before my name is Deputy Damon Robish or Damon Robish uh, I've been with Beetle County for now five years um, I've been a dare teacher now for two years this is my second year I guess in Hitchcock my fourth class third class whichever way you want to put it um, I'm born and raised in Huron born and raised in Beetle County uh, my parents came to Hitchcock for a short time uh, then went to James Valley so when I got the opportunity to go teach DARE, or got the opportunity to go out and get DARE certified, it kind of meant something to me just because DARE, when I was growing up, really kind of impacted my life on just getting put off on the right foot. Um, DARE, when it originated, was all about, these are drugs, don't do them, drugs are bad. Well, in the last 10 years, they kind of revamped that, and since I've been going, or since I went to school two years ago, they changed the program, okay? What they found was if you tell kids, hey, this is what something is, but you can't do it, kids were doing it. If you tell, you know, your parents probably know, if you tell your kids, hey, here's a cookie, but you can't eat it, what's that kid going to do? Eat it. <laughs> He's going to eat it, right? So basically what they found out was we're giving these kids information and we're telling them not to do this, 
but these kids are going off and doing it anyway, okay? So this new D.A.R.E. program, it's, it is a little cheesy. Me and the sheriff had to talk about it. It's a little cheesy, but at the end of the day, it's worked, and it's proven to work, okay? So over the course of the 10 years, or 10 weeks, we talked about a lot of things. We talked about bullying. We talked about communication. We talked about listening. We talked about, what else did we talk about? Huh? Bullying. I already said that one. Bullying. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Okay, we did talk about that for a week. We talked, gave them information. Uh, we talked about a, a load of things. What we talked about every single week, though, in the focus of this program is the D.A.R.E. decision-making model. Okay, so in every situation, in every situation in life, you can use this D.A.R.E. decision-making model and help you make the best decision that you can possibly come up with. Did we do that over the course of 10 weeks? Yes. Yeah. Do we feel like we make better decisions? Yes. All right, so the D.A.R.E. decision-making model, the D stands for? Define. Define, good job. So in every single situation, you have a problem, right? So the D stands for define. Okay, so you define your problem. The A stands for? Assess. Assess, good job. So when we get to the, the A, we assess our situation. So that's make our choices, right? So you weigh all your choices out. You lay all your choices out, the bad ones, the good ones, all of them. In that same stage, we also weigh our consequences, pros and cons of each way, each choice that you have. Okay, then after that, we get the what? Respond, okay? So then we respond. We get to our response and we decide which one after we weigh our pros and cons and we respond with what? The, the, the good choice. choice. The good choice, that's what I was looking for. Good job, the good <laughs> choice. So we evaluate, E is evaluate and we get to the, uh, it should always be what? Yes. yes. Yes, we should always get a yes. If we don't get a yes when we get to evaluate, we go back to the top. And we start over and we go through that, right? So the new model that D.A.R.E. came out with is that. And it has worked and it's proven to work, okay? So then with that, we can, we can spin off of that. We go through scenarios every week. We have different scenarios where we go through. Uh, some scenarios are, you know, when you are off of drugs, right? They can go through the D.A.R.E. decision-making model and they know that they have to say no, right? They can respond without going through that whole model because over the course of the 10 weeks, we went through that model. So they know it's no, without even going through the process, but in reality, they went through that process in their head. So over the course of the 10 weeks, we really wanted to drive that home and just explain to them that, and, that, and you can use that model for anything. Waking up to brush your teeth. Is it, is it start at the top? Your problem is brushing your teeth, okay? Your choices are brush your teeth or don't brush your teeth, okay? But what are your consequences gonna be? Maybe your friends tell you that your breath stinks. Maybe your friends don't wanna talk to you. Maybe no one wants to sit with you at lunch because your breath stinks. Or you have to pay a lot of money. Or you have to pay a lot of money. <laughs> so once, once we can go through that, those kids can make the best decisions to not only get them off on a better foot, but then when they are faced with those hard choices of do you want drugs, do you want alcohol, uh, do you want to skip class, any of these, they already know the best answer. Okay, so that's what D.A.R.E. is kind of about, um, and I don't want to ruin their uh, uh, essays. So we'll go right into the essays for them. Let's go ahead. Do you know what D.A.R.E. This, what D.A.R.E. means to me? Did you know a cigarette has more than 200 arms chemicals in it, so do not smoke. Derek teaches me what to do in a situation like this. If my friend takes drugs out to recess and asks me if I want any, I would say no, but explain why it's so harmful, and I'm going to say I'm going to play with a different friend now. Do you know what the DDMM means, or D-A-R-E? Well, the D stands for define, which means the problem. A for a 
to help other people. I want, I want to be healthy and protect my body and my organs. Thank you, Betsy Rose. I had a fun time with, and I had a fun time. And thank you, everybody. Have a great.
job. The students, uh, they worked really hard on that. Uh, they had two weeks, really, is all to go through and, and uh, review the whole weeks that we've learned, what we've learned, and then put those down into those essays. So you guys all did really good. Uh, thank you for all the kind words. Uh, as I said before, I like coming up here. Just a lot of good kids. Uh, they worked really hard. So uh, now we'll get into the diplomas. I'll have Ms. Barry read the names and come down here. Thank you again. Uh, again, I just want to thank. First of all, I want to thank the kids. I mean, they were great. I mean, any 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 time that you come to teach a new class, okay, you're a little worried. Okay, this is only my second year teaching Dare, so um, kind of getting more comfortable with it. Uh, this year, I was coming in, I was a lot more comfortable than I was last year coming in. Uh, but then with this class too, it was just so easy. I mean, 
Uh, eventually, I thought maybe I would have to tell them to be quiet. Uh, sometimes you got to get after kids after about five or six weeks. Uh, seemed like this class was always just really, just really eager to learn and eager to just listen. You know, uh, they always gave input. They were always willing to uh, answer questions when I had questions. It makes my job a lot easier. Okay, I don't have to worry about well, what if someone doesn't answer this question or go off on it. Sometimes I just let them kind of lead the class and where it needed to go and I could just stay on my guidelines, right? Um, next, I want to thank Mr. Clark. Thank you for letting us have the opportunity to come in. Uh, I do think DARE is a very important program. Uh, you'd be surprised, some schools across, you know, not so much in South Dakota, but when I went to get my certification to teach DARE, there was kids, or there was officers that were coming in from other states and they were going to be like the first dare program in their states uh, a lot of a lot of schools don't like that so i want to thank mr clark i want to thank the school board whoever's in charge of you know letting us come in that is important and i think i think it is a good program i want to thank miss barry you know always working around my crazy schedule uh, pretty much as long as i gave her some days a day notice <laughs> she would always <laughs> You know, work some things around. I understand it's not always easy, uh, but thank you for making that work and making it work for the, uh, these kids. Uh, lastly, I want to thank the parents, okay? Um, with that, I'm also going to challenge you too, right? I want to thank you for putting your kids, letting your kids come through this program. It's important that these kids go through that program, but now my part's done, okay? Now it's on the parents, okay? They know what they need to do to succeed. They have, you heard in all, all, all of their um, essays that what they went through the program. They went through the DDMM, okay? Now it kind of falls back on you guys, okay? We are always there to help. The kids hopefully know that. Uh, Mr. Clark knows it, Ms. Ms. Barry knows it. They know how to get a hold of me. We're always here to help. But now it comes to you guys, okay? Be a part of your kids' lives. I know that you are, but be there for them. Make sure, that, make sure that they're the trusted adult, right? Make sure you're the trusted adult that they can always come and talk to, okay? That's not always easy, but make sure that you're there for them. Make sure that you're the trusted, trusted adult that they can come talk to and they can tell anything to, whether it's a bad decision that they made or a good decision they made. Make sure that you're there for them to tell you that, okay? Thank you guys for coming in today. And uh, thank you for allowing me to teach your children something.